So it's Sunday and today we're going out somewhere, aren't we? We are going to explore some of Welsh heritage and history. Okay. Today we're going to the Big Pit uh, National Coal Mining Museum of Wales in Blaenavon. Now obviously I can't take a camera down to the, the mine itself obviously due to um, the rules because of the battery which is fine it's not a problem but I'll show you whatever I can it's going to be interesting we get to wear a helmet and uh, go down in the mine. Now I've been there before it did open in 1983 and I went there when I was a kid before I went to comp school so sometime between it opening in 83 and 85 and all I remember is going down into the pit and having the, the lamp on your head, carrying a lamp. I don't remember that, but apparently you do. Uh, turning the lamp off and they sold coal dust sherbet in the gift shop, which was lovely. It's all changed since then. Um, but we're going to head off and see what we can find, aren't we, Paul? Yes. And Jennifer. She's in the back there being gorgeous. Uh, yeah, let's go. So here we are. Uh. It's the car, yeah. So, like I said, no photography in the mine itself, but hopefully we'll be able to do some filming in other places. As you can see, there's the, uh, the wheel, there's an end train there. Like, it's been 40 years since I've been here. 40 years, amazing. Now, oh, it's pay and display. I'm sorry. mache ticket inside. Paint machine and display ticket. Yeah, we need to get a ticket, Paul. Yeah. Come out the door, and here are some of the canaries that they keep here because they used to take them in the mines to detect carbon monoxide and they take them in a cage and if there was yes. hold the cage out in front of them and if there was carbon monoxide the canaries would feel it first and they'd start rubbing their beaks on the cage and the miners knew they had to get out <laughs> so they didn't actually let the canaries really die they would take them out to the fresh air and this is the modern lamp room So we can actually use our battery operated things now to be safe. Yeah. Right. As the pit wheels go in, as the cage goes either up or down, taking more visitors. Can you see it go around? I know you're hungry, we'll find some food in a bit. Come on in. So it's quite a big site and it's free, you can always come again and just do the uh, other bits. I don't know what that is at the moment. I have to get the map out in a minute. I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute, all right? So these were the workshops here. And Jennifer wants to go home because she thinks it's boring. I'm going to stay here forever. Don't be just silly. It's one of those uh, wheels. No climbing. Yeah, we won't be long. This is what I used to do at school. We used to learn about this. Learning about it. It's called history, though. Wear goggles. It's a forge. Oh, you can still smell it. It's in my pocket. It falls 
he was working underground and he found that he was working in a little too hard. He would uh, find a place in the roadway and he'd pull his shoe off. Cool. It has been raining while we were having some luncheon, which was really nice. The sandwiches. Go around that way now, darling. Winding house, makes that go. There's a tea room where we just were. Ah, oh, so good here. I'd like to explore it properly, but Jennifer's a bit bored, so we'll be going home soon. She's a bit young. She just wants a gift shop. Yeah. So, uh, Blenavon is a World Heritage Site, a UNESCO Heritage Site. As you can see by reading that there. It's absolutely fantastic. All oh, right, stop whinging. Well, it's this way somewhere. Uh, what's over there? Shopping. Uh, shopping. That's the bar. I wanted to see this up here. It's the bath, six zipping, and the mining experience. We'll have a quick look, and then we'll go to the gift shop which is just down there all right so let's uh, have a look up here we just watched a little video show like some things about mining through the ages it was really good see down over there no off there and now we're gonna have a look oh the baths which were built what would you say 1930 yeah, 1930 so the miners could have a shower and a bath before they went home to the missus. <sighs> Pretty cool. There we go. Let's have a look. They had their canteen and their baths. It's a very mucky job. Jed, coat! <laughs> She really only wants to go in the gift shop, which we will do in a minute, obviously. Look at this. So wild up there, it's beautiful. Imagine this on a glorious sunny day. Um, obviously it's not a gloriously sunny today. But uh, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. See what that building is over here, shall we? Go down here and have a look. It says danger explosives. What does that mean? It means it's going to go bang. Where? Well, they kept the explosives in here, I would imagine. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what this says. Yeah. So that's where they would have kept their explosives that they used to. Um, no, it says no entry, that means you. Sure, Monday. Morning, Will. Same as yesterday, is it? Yeah, me and Dave are very easy again. What's up with it? Oh, I said, John, he's a drinking shark by that. But he's never been to a photo mark eating before. Right. Never been to a photo mark. Right now. So it's very interactive. You walk in and senses. Uh, 
Set off the uh, information and you get a little reenactment of what it would be like. Really cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, the sensors that set off the interactive part of the. Never had none of that back in 83. <laughs> oh, that's lush. Where they would have had their baths. Oh, there's me up on the camera. Woohoo! That's what it looks like there. The boot greaser. Come on, let's go through and have a look. To grease their boots, apparently. Wash their hands. Here's the lockers. They put their bits in. Smoking and spitting prohibited. Jen, wait for us. Lots of lockers. Oh, I say he's a naked man. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the showers. <laughs> and this is the showers, Jen, where they would have come after they finished their shift. And they would have come in here and, and well, they would have got their soap out their locker and come and a towel and come and have a shower so they didn't take all that coal dust home. Track it into their wives' living rooms and cause her to have an aneurysm. Now, what's this here? So this was what would have been in his locker look. This towel and stuff. And these are real people. Frank Gratton. Graham Gratton. So it was families that worked in pits. Tobacco tins. What does it say? This one is 12. Fanteg top pit. Oh my god. And then he came to work at Big Pit from 1904, coming officially in 1910. Survived falling unconscious in a fire at Big Pit, but three men and a dog die comes under manager in 1914 and requires tyres on Good Friday 1956. Ooh. 53 years served underground, 52 of those years were at Big Pit. And not fascinating? And here's uh, the Davy lamps. The safety lamps. Sometimes Davy lamps come up for auction. I've seen them at Cardiff City. Absolutely fascinating. This is uh, various bits and pieces. Mine, my about mine gases. Let's see this round you. Drills. And we've got more, more uh, modern equipment than the old, old, old days. Oh, it's Acme. Where's Roadrunner? Absolutely fascinating. This place is definitely worth a visit. What's this say? Okay. See what's in this other room, Jen? Oh, this is about the fossils and stuff. You did this at school. About fossils, didn't you? You did this at school, didn't you? Yeah, you can touch it. This one's the coal, yeah. All the way down to carboniferous limestone.
No, you're a bit short. Daddy will lift you up. Lift up because she wants to touch the top ones. Oh, I can't lift you that. There you go, good girl. <laughs> Explains how coal was made on the video. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this. Don't stand on there. Because there's a scan there, it's just showing you little things, I think. Things that coal has helped made, make, I think, there. All of this. Hmm? There's a lot of stuff on display. It's absolutely brilliant. Use your head, but not like this. Good idea. That was uh, this morning. Here. Yeah. I'm going to show you everything I want you to come and visit. Keep this uh, place going if you can. And then, uh, what's Jennifer got now? What is a stink damp? Does it do anything? Oh, you lift it up? Stink damp. Hydrogen sulfide, oh, sulfur, yeah. Smells like bad eggs, highly poison. Black damp is a suffocating gas. Nitrogen and carbon dioxide. A white damp is carbon monoxide. And fire damp is a big bang. <laughs> oh, look at all this. Oh, that's the same when they had that big explosion, wasn't it? Didn't they? 439 men and boys died when there was an explosion at St. Helens Mine. Eighty-eight, two hundred. Oh, it looks like the puppet looks like that. It does, but it's no. Mm. Yeah, the strikes of 84, 85. Very sad. All about the riots at Tony Pandy and things like that. Yeah, and this is to do with the mine strike. Oh, there's the Wicked Witch of the West. Ding dong, witch is dead. So pretty much that's the end of our tour of Big Pit. We will go into the gift shop and uh, I'll show you if we buy anything, what we do buy. And we'll, uh, yeah. See you again. I'll show you what we get in the gift shop when we get back home. Here we go. This is a list of all the pits in Wales. So I used to live near uh, in Argoid, Argoid Colby there. And then near us we've got it's up here some Crumlin Navigation. We got the Darren Level at Risca. There is another, there is some under Risca as well over here. Um, we got Risca Colliery, Risca Black Vein, Risca Red and Grey Vein. Um, and that's not all of them. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of them. Wow. Found the medical centre, doctor's room. Here we are. If they got hurt, they would have come in here. So here is. Uh, bits and pieces. Come on, we're going now. We are not. 
So, in his waiting room. Is that shut? No, that's shut. And then you've got the canteen area in there. And that's all locked up, but we're going to have a little... Which way I came in. I know, isn't it? Where they would have had their lunches. That way, yes. Right, gift shop then, Jen. It's a bit so we're back home now, and other than one item, which is a present for my mum for Christmas, we didn't buy much at the shop, it was expensive. Paul got a beer, bottle of Big Pit Miners Ale, which is from the Rumney uh, Brewery, 5%. So we're going to try that. I'll have a sip. I won't drink much of it when he has it. And Jennifer got this uh, lanyard with Big Pit on it, and it's got a miner. Let's have a look at the miner. It's a bear! It's a big, it says... And then she got this sort of crystal, pit. purple crystal colour. It says big pit. It does, it says big pit. And with a bear? Yeah. On it. Did you enjoy the mine? Yeah. Yeah, this you did? Good. Curry. What did you think about it when we turned the lights off? What? In the mine. It went dark, didn't it? And you it, couldn't... I got blind then! Yeah, you couldn't see anything, could you? That's what I, you said. I, I was like, where's Mario? I was right next to you. And I, of course, added to my... Um, bookmark collection. It's not the prettiest bookmark. I think they should have put a winding tower on it. Yeah, and winding wheel. And that was from yesterday from the pub, Jen. Yeah. Um, but it's bookmark for the collection. It's a packet of crisps from the pub yesterday. And yeah, so when you go down into the mine, they <laughs> you turn your light off so you can see how dark it was. And Jennifer went, I can't see anything. Yeah, right, that's the point. <laughs> anyway, we, me and Jennifer and Paul, Hope that you have enjoyed. Oh, there's a glasses. No, don't, Jen. This uh, trip to Blenavon with us and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. We'll go again because we want to go on the railway. Um, and uh, we'll see what we're doing next weekend. Next week, there's a food fair down in Risker, Risker Park. So we're going to try lots of foods. Try lots of food? Yeah. And lots of cheese? Yeah. Yeah, you try lots of cheese down there and lots of different foods. So that's what we'll be doing next Saturday, so look out for that. No hard peace. Don't, Jen, I'm running out of battery. Now stop it. And we will see you next, next week. <laughs>